In this video we're going to show you some of the one of the important changes in the new version of Handbrake. We're going to open up Handbrake and we're going to select the DVD that we have in our drive right now and we'll choose open. And we get this warning dialog box that says it couldn't find a compatible version of this library file. Um, we're eventually going to go get that library. Um, we're going to get this package file to install on our Mac so that we can use Handbrake um, and use this library to uh, decrypt DVDs so that we can rip them using Handbrake. I'm going to cancel the scan right now and just show you which version of Handbrake we're using. So under Handbrake I'll choose about Handbrake and we're using version 0.9.6 and we're using the 64-bit version which I encourage you to use because it's a little bit faster. Um, it'll only work on more modern Macintosh computers at this point but um, it is the recommended version. But the latest version as of this date, April 11th, 2012, is version 0.9.6. Okay, so let's go to our source button and grab that DVD again and choose open. Now again, um, DVDs, the, the portion of the DVD that we want is that video underscore TS. So that's what Handbrake finds. We'll choose open and it should recognize that. And normally this would start scanning the DVD to see what movies it finds. Um, but we do get this warning with this new version of Handbrake. So we're going to get this libdvdcss.pkg file. So it's going to open up a website, um, and it's this one right here. So we'll click on this link to start downloading this. We'll use Google Chrome. And we'll click on the package to start installing the libdvdcss file. So we'll click on Continue. It tells us how much space it's going to take. We'll click Install. We're going to type in our password. for our system. It's going to go through the process of installing this in our library folder. It tells us it's successful, so we'll close that. And we'll minimize Google Chrome for right now. We'll go back to our source. We'll choose our movie again. We'll choose open and now it starts to scan the DVD that's in there. Um, while we're waiting for it to scan the DVD, one of the things that may happen with certain DVDs is that it will kind of throw uh, 99 different titles. Um, you'll see scanning X of 99 and if that's the case it's an attempt by the movie company to kind of uh, do some copy protection. Um, what it thinks it's doing is it's keeping you from seeing the true movie and it'll show you a bunch of files eventually we'll see these titles here it'll show you a bunch of files that are the exact length of the of the movie but the chapters will actually be out of order which doesn't necessarily make for a nice viewing experience handbrake is pretty good at picking out the right one in this case it's only 23 chapters and and that is the main chapter which you see this movie is two hours long and if we click the drop down these are some other um, special features that are included on the DVD. We want to choose the main title in this case to rip this movie to our hard drive. Okay, um, So that simple procedure of installing that uh, libdvd CSS package file will allow Handbrake to decrypt the DVD so that we can now save this file on our hard drive, uh, save the full movie to our hard drive. When we are going to rip DVDs, we suggest that you choose the normal profile under the regular setting. And if you don't see these presets over on the side here, um, the window may look like this. Click on the toggle presets button. You will see these. Choose the normal profile and then click on the start button. And that will start the process of taking this movie file and saving it to your computer. So after a few seconds it will scan those titles again and then it will start to process and encode the movie 
and after a while you'll actually see the frame rate and an estimate of how long it's going to take. This usually will drop down depending on the speed of your computer. So I'm getting at the moment 60 frames per second, which is kind of double speed. Normally you'd see 30 frames per second for the movie itself. So this is moving along at a pretty good clip, but at some point this may drop down. So it may not actually take 37 minutes, but might take closer to an hour or closer to the actual duration of the movie, which is pretty normal, um, two hours. So Handbrake does take a while to, to encode a movie, um, but this new version will work as fast as any of them. And again, the 64-bit versions, which you'll notice in the icon, with the icon here, the 64 icon, which you can't see right now, um, but you'll notice that 64-bit version will work a little bit faster um, on these newer computers. So that's just a little bit of the gotchas, the things that you'll need to kind of look at as you encode a movie using Handbrake. Hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.